Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be installing a soap dispenser onto the kitchen countertop right here next to the faucet and by the sink. So I've got it marked out where that blue tape is and the reason for this is to uh, free up some counter space. Um, in our other trailer that we used to have we installed one and we really liked it. So we actually in ours on the counter we use the um, soft soap for hand soap in it and and then we just had this little bottle of green palm olive uh, soap that we buy here at Costco and we use this uh, for the dishes so we just pull it out when we do the dishes but we wash our hands probably more than we do the dishes um, so some of the tools you're going to need are right here I'm going to walk you through this step by step in this trailer and uh, you'll see it's fairly easy you don't have to worry about things I'll I'll make you feel comfortable with drilling into your countertop I think uh, so every trailer is about the same and it's in a way and I'll show you what to watch for when you're doing this so let's uh, take a look over here we'll take a closer look and I'll show you where I'm going to be placing it before we get installing this I just want to show you here's what the unit comes with um, and then here's a step-by-step -step installation guide I just picked one off the internet. I wanted to get a pretty good quality one because I bought cheap ones before and they just don't last. Um, this one also comes with, a, um, if you register it um, within 14 days of purchase, the warranty coverage will double from two years to four years. So I just want to let you know that. So I'll put links to the products I use in the description below um, in case you're interested in buying one of these or um, look on your own, go to a hardware store or go to Amazon or somewhere else and find one. So I'm going to get going on this project. So I've decided to go with this location because it was best for uh, reaching over to put soap on my hands. It was out of the way. Um, it's going to be easy to um, remove this here and put soap in it and then reattach it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. But there's things you need to watch for. Um, under here you got to watch for wires and stuff but because we're going to be drilling a hole in here and uh, so I'm going to remove this uh, garbage can and take you under and take a look to show you where it'll be uh, coming out on the other side. So what I've done is I placed a, a mirror down here any kind of mirror will work and then up here is where it's going to be going through so looking down here it's kind of hard to figure out where it'll come out. It looks like it'll come out in this area here. So I need to get in between these two points right here. So what I've done, I took a lot of measurements from here to here and there to the, the uh, sink. And, um, and then I found another solution. I'll show you right now what I did to figure out where it comes out on the other side. So first you're gonna have to forgive me on these rusted up uh, C-clamp pliers, vice grip pliers. Um, I'm going to place it, clamp it on the top and bottom here, and then come back to you to show you how I figure this out. So these the seat clamp pliers um, have jaws on it that line up. So when they're closed, they're coming together. So I got this. So it's right on the dot where I want it. And then under here, you can see, hopefully, you can see over here where the other end is. So it's right in between those two points uh, that I want to avoid. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead. I'm going to drill a small hole in there before I go drilling the inch and the eighth hole um, here just to make sure I'm in the right spot. So I felt this is better than doing a bunch of measurements and maybe getting it wrong. This is more accurate. But if you don't have one of these clamps, um, go ahead and do your best measurements and then drill a small hole to see where it comes out down below because then you can move your uh, hole saw around to the right point and not make a bunch of holes in your countertop. So another thing you're gonna have to watch for is you're gonna be mounting this so it goes through the countertop but you're going to make sure that this, this uh, container you fill with soap clears everything too. So here 
I'm, I'm really good installing it here. I'm going to clear uh, the sink itself and the garbage can that's over here. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and drill the pilot hole and I'm holding my breath that I'm drilling in the right spot. So I've selected the smallest drill bit I have. I know that I'm pretty darn close right here. I've checked myself a hundred times. I'm going to drill this hole in here. I drilled through. So let's take a look on the other side and see how good it is or bad it is. I left the drill bit in place here through the countertop so we could see uh, where it came out. So looking in the mirror, you can see that little uh, black X right there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And the drill bit's coming through right there. So that's just right for me to um, be able to drill my bigger hole. Before I drill the bigger hole, I want to show you something. So the instructions say you can drill a one inch hole. It'll be kind of tight or up to an inch and a half inch hole. So I've decided to go with the inch and an eighth hole and because the one inch was too tight. I don't want to be having to file the countertop. So I went inch and an eighth. I have plenty of room. I can move it around slightly. And then, um, and then here's the uh, drill bit I'll be using. So it's an inch and eight hole saw. So let's go ahead and drill this hole and hope we're still right. Well, here it goes. I have my drill set on the slow setting. And I'm going to get this started really slow. Make sure I'm in the right spot. And go real easy to start it. Drill straight up and down. As you get closer to going through, you slow down a little bit and don't push so hard. So I hope that works out for me. We'll see what happens. Well, that didn't work out too well, but anyway. Got that hole drilled. So I'm gonna clean this up and we'll uh, sign back on to show you what it looks like. Before I drop this soap dispenser in place, uh, I put the rubber gasket right here. I drop it in there and I'll show you a mistake I made, but it's not a big deal. So I, I did center it, I got room around it, but I didn't really account for this uh, nut here to be so big. But that's not a big deal. Um, there's a lip right here. And what I'm going to do, pull this out, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I took some one inch schedule 40 PVC pipe and I cut in a spacer. It'll go on like this. But first, I'll put the gasket on underneath and then this. And then I'll put my nut on there. So I'll show you what it looks like once I have it in, so you'll see uh, how I did it. So that's one thing to watch for, is to make sure that you have plenty of room for the nut. So I could have found another location, probably right over this way more, but I didn't want it so close to the faucet that I'd be fighting with the faucet and the um, soap dispenser to reach across. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. So that spacer worked out really well. I have the gasket, then the piece of uh, one inch PVC pipe that's about an inch and a sixteenth long. And then I have the nut and I've tightened it up and uh, it looks good on the top too. So I'm gonna take you up to the top and show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like from the top. And then this uh, countertop is uh, roughly, it's close to three quarters of an inch. So it's pretty easy to drill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, soap container 
uh, and fill it with soap and uh, and then we'll give it a try. So I took the soap dispenser head and connected it to this tube. And then I'm just going to slide that down in place. And then you can see I filled up the reservoir here and then it screws on. It just threads right on. You can see it um, pretty easy to do. So you're able to monitor how much soap you have and if you need to refill it or not. It's easy to get to um, to uh, take it out and refill it. So here we are. I got the soap pumped up. It took like five pumps. It came up to the top. And there you go. Real simple to do. Easy project. Didn't cost much money. And it's uh, a great benefit to uh, have this on your countertop. So if you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. Um, and um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that uh, bell notification to be notified of future videos. I have several videos out. A lot of them are on my other trailer, the uh, Rockwood Mini Light 2504S. And now I have them on the, um, the Lance 2375 model. So uh, a lot of my other videos that I did with the Rockwood would also work for um, the Lance trailer. And the ones that I do on the Lance trailer will be able to, uh, a lot of them will be able to work on the Rockwood trailer and other trailers too. So hope you check out my videos. And if you enjoyed this, um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment. Leave comments or uh, tips that you can share with others down below in the, below this YouTube video so other people can read it and share with each other. So uh, when you leave comments or questions, I do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching everybody and take care and happy camping.